Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn on the channel, it's a blockchain ride. Learn with Hattie where the knowledge collide. Crypto lessons dropping straight fire ignite. Stacking up wisdom. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna go over cloud computing and a blockchain project that is taking it to the next level. Cloud computing was created roughly 60 years ago, give or take. And it's wild because this is the same time the computer mouse was created and the first integrated circuit was created. So that was a pretty crazy time for technology. The concept of cloud computing came around in the 1960s with the introduction of time sharing, where multiple users could access a mainframe computer at the same time. Back then, they didn't use the words cloud computing, but it gained popularity later. These early ideas of cloud computing is what brought forth the shared network computing. JCR Lickwriter introduced an idea called the Intergalactic Computer Network. This was in the early 1960s and this also contributed to the concept of a global computer network. The cloud computing market has grown to be a multi-billion dollar market valued at over $912 billion in 2025. This market is dominated by centralized hyperscalers. These hyperscaler companies are Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. They control 60 to 65% of all of the cloud computing. This centralization has raised concerns about market power, data privacy, and competitive practices. This is one of the reasons why the platform I'm going to be talking about today has caught my attention. Something needs to change with this, and the power needs to be stripped away from these major companies. Microsoft is being sued for around $1 billion in the UK. The reason behind this, it says Microsoft is facing legal action in the UK over claims that its licensing practices unfairly increase costs for businesses that use competitor cloud providers such as Amazon, Google, and Alibaba. I am sure there is way more market manipulation going on. Since everything is centralized, there is no way in telling what is going on behind the scenes. I think that we need more companies using blockchain technology and being as transparent as possible, allowing people to choose what providers they want to use. This is what brings me to the platform we're going to go over today. This platform is called Didium, and it is a cloud computing platform that uses blockchain technology, the Cardano blockchain, and allows anyone to take part in the cloud computing market. So we're going to go over to the website and we're going to go over it a little bit and I'm going to give you some ideas of why I think this could be huge. Let's check it out. DDM was created in 2024. It is hard to find the exact dates, but from what I could find, it was created in 2024. The website is ddm.io and it's going to look like this. It says decentralized GPU computing. Use the power of your idle GPU for AI and rendering workloads and earn DEDI. You can rent the GPU. We're going to go back through that later in the video. We're going to go over it a little bit. This is a fairly new project. So we're going to go through the website, kind of get an idea of what it does, why it's important, and why this is going to help fight the centralization of cloud computing. This is our mission, empowering individuals to harness their idle GPUs, democratizing the GPU market and earning rewards. This results in lower costs for developers, commercial users, and creators, fostering an environmental environment that encourages innovation. So DDM components, multi-layered infrastructure for enhanced security and optimal performance. GPU, node. Nodes contribute GPU resources, enabling decentralized computation. And this is sweet because it runs on the Cardano blockchain. So it uses Cardano smart contracts. And it says Cardano smart contract, ensure secure payment processing and guarantee adherence to payment terms. The DDM network allocates tasks, encrypts data and ensures secure and efficient compute computation processes. Vito node, ensuring compliance with the client preferences and requirements. Next, it says why DDM? Scalable, cost effective, get rewarded, and much more. So, privacy, robust encryption protocols to protect users' privacy and confidentiality. Scalable, scalable infrastructure to accommodate growing computational demands. Cost effective, maximizing computational output while minimizing operational expenses. This is you get rewarded, you earn DEDI. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. DEDI. DEDI as rewards receiving a portion of, of the expenditure back. API, streamline GPU resources management and allocation. 
GPU at work. Monetize your unused GPU resources with Dedium. So this is cool. So anyone who has an extra computer can use this to earn a small passive income and to help build a more decentralized cloud computer network. SDK and SDK to build custom applications and solutions and security, a multi-layered security mechanisms. Let's see what else is going on. API and SDK. Enhances commercial applications with DDM's API and SDK. Enabling seamless integration of decentralized GPU resources for enhanced performance and scalability. Streamline development processes and unlock new possibilities for innovation in your projects. So here's a calculator. This can calculate and estimate how much you would earn and the deposit required for each GPU. We'll go and look at the node section here in a little bit. Right now we're gonna go through, just see what it's talking about. So the Dedi total supply, 250 million Dedi. Dedi, Dedi, Dedi. If someone knows how to pronounce that watching this, please leave a comment and kind of spell it out for me. <laughs> but I think, I'm, I think I'm saying it right. So it's initial supply is 100 million. Community rewards for 23 years is 50 million. Node rewards for 23 years is 75 million. And treasury is 25 million. So now let's check out the roadmap. So the development of the core for sale for sole nodes, that was a 20, Q2 to Q4, 2024. So Q1 to Q3, that's where we are right now. Implementation of Bray, testing, auditing, and official launch. So the official launch is coming or it's already, already gotten here. I don't think so though. We'll, we'll find out here in a minute. Q4 is optimization and scaling. And then in 2026, they're going to implementation of decentralized governance protocol. I'm ready to become a node. I know I am. So simple node. Any idle GPU can be utilized. Monetize your GPU. Earn Dedi. Promote decentralization in technology. So commercial. Offers, offer sole nodes. Monetize existing GPU infrastructure. Optimize your infrastructure's return of investment while retaining the flexibility of use to use it as needed. Reduce environmental impact and contribute to the sustainability of decentralized networks and enjoy their zero fees. So they have zero fees. I think this is gonna, gonna uh, blow up for real because the cloud, cloud computing market is huge and only growing. Every year it's growing. Every year it's going up in value. So something like this is gonna turn it upside down so now that we've gone through that, let's go to let's go check out rent a GPU. Let's see what that says. We're gonna sign in with the wallet real quick. So once you sign in, you're gonna see GPUs that can be rented. So it seems like all of these GPUs are rented right now. Like I said, it's a very early project. So right now they don't have very much going on, but look, you can find, look, this rented for $1 a month. This is rented for $5 a month. So there's some like really fast ones. And then there's ones that are a little slower like look at this one this one has 128 gigabytes of ram 16 cores that's 1250 dollars a month let's see what the dollar one was see that's still not bad look at that 16 gigabytes of vram 16 gigabytes of ram that's a rtx 4050 that's five dollars a month so that's a little bit slower but i mean if you have like a slow computer you need to rent some cloud computing this is pretty awesome and it's only going to grow it just got created last year so this is just the very be very beginning the more people that see it and the more people that start contributing the better it's going to get so it also says that you can stake so let's go to staking so this is you can stake your daddy for 180 days this one's 90 days this one's 365 days so this one's 10 percent apr for the 180 days seven percent apr for the 90 days and 15 percent APR for the 365 days. So I may have a 14 day one down here. That's 4%. So you could see people have locked up their, uh, their tokens. So that's something to look into. What we're going to look at next is how to start a node. So let's go over to node and that's going to bring us down to here. So you can't click anything here. So to start your own node, I don't know if they started that yet. Maybe it's only a select few people since they're so new. They're not allowing just anyone to become a node just yet. So that's something that I would like to know. If if you do know about Dedi, could you leave a comment and let everybody know, is it able to be used by everyone right now or is it still in the testing phase? So I know we're in Q2. So right now we're in implementation of Ray, testing, auditing, and official launch. 
So like I said, I don't think it's like fully available to everyone just yet, but they're in the official launch phase. So we're in Q2, so we have Q2 and Q3 left before the actual official launch is fully going forward, I think. Then Q4 is optimization and scaling, so that means they're going to start pushing it out to more people, allowing more people to run nodes, and it'll be more widely used. So this is a very early project, and I truly think that it's going to change things because there's nothing like this. There's nothing like a decentralized GPU cloud computing network. It's all centralized and controlled by the big companies we know, Amazon, Google, uh, Microsoft. And these companies, as we can tell from just reading the news, these companies are not trustworthy and they do not uh, allow transparency in the things they do. They have cornered the market and they are stealing our data and selling it to the highest bidder. So that's Didium. There's really not much to say about it. It's a decentralized GPU uh, computing company that runs on the Cardano blockchain, uses their smart contracts to get things going. And it is a one of a kind project. I truly hope that this thing blows up and people start seeing what it's capable of. We need some change and blockchain is bringing that change. Thanks everybody for watching my video. If you want to learn more about other projects that use the Cardano blockchain or other projects I use to earn a little bit of crypto on the side, check out my previous videos. You can also check out my website, earnwithhattie.com. I have a whole bunch of websites on there. I'm selling some hats if you want to help a small time creator. There's a bunch on there. I do, if you want to join my Discord, I do uh, marbles on stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I give out crypto rewards for the top three winners and whoever wins the leaderboards in the leaderboards. So the top three people of all the races just learn and earn. Remember, you always win with Hattie.